The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, we're approaching the time of year where the fall foliage is going to be reaching its peak and we're already starting to see quite a bit of color, especially if you head towards uh, higher elevations and points just to the east of there. For instance, across the Roanoke Valley, we've seen some color change. I want to show you a picture sent to us from Alan Tyler, certainly starting to see those trees change along the sides of the road. Uh, certainly the uh, trees are seeing a little more color at the tops of the trees than they are at the bottom of the tree. Uh, we encourage all of you to send your pictures to us here at WSLS and of course we will put them on the air. The way to send them to us is via something called pin it and you can access it on WSLS.com slash pins. Our next weather maker is approaching us at a slow pace. It's going to get here on Saturday. It is producing rain showers from near Grand Rapids through Milwaukee and points west towards Rapid City. Certainly seeing some snow out across portions of uh, Wyoming and Colorado. I will tell you that this is indeed our next weather maker. It's going to take some time to get here. Here locally, things are indeed very quiet for us. We're going to stay quiet tonight. We're going to stay quiet again for tomorrow. Let's show you future tracker and we'll time it all out for you. Tomorrow, 7 a.m., we're awakening to maybe a little bit of fog. Otherwise, we awaken to our fair share of sun. May see a few more clouds streaming in later in the day. Otherwise, clouds will thicken in earnest Friday night. May have a stray shower or two very late Friday night, but for the most part, these occasional scattered showers will be pushing in through the day on Saturday. This does not look like it's going to be a huge rainmaker for us, friends. It looks like it's just going to be a, a day where we could see anywhere from about a trace to a quarter of an inch of rain with some occasional light rain showers. This doesn't look like we're going to have any thunderstorms. Certainly doesn't look like we're going to have bouts of real heavy rain. It's going to be fairly light and it's going to be in here uh, occasionally throughout the day Saturday, uh, starting to taper off as we head into Saturday night. But because low pressure is going to be fairly close to us here over the weekend, especially on Saturday, if you suffer from fibromyalgia, or if you have any migraines, your aches and pains may be elevated. Why? Well, the air pressure is going to drop from 1,014 millibars around, say, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, down to about 1,000 millibars Saturday night. That drop in air pressure could allow for some aches and pains to be possible. Going to be fairly humid on Saturday, okay? It can be a day where we're going to have moisture readily accessible in our atmosphere, but... When we have cold frontal passage behind that cold front, we turn much, much drier. So again, going to have some moist air late tomorrow into Saturday and then Sunday into Monday and Tuesday dryer comes back and it's certainly going to be a uh, time frame for us here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, where it's going to feel every bit like fall outside. We're in the upper 50s right now in Hot Springs, also in Roanoke, a little bit cooler in Withville, 51, 54 Hillsville and Galax, also in Danville, 56 in the Hill City. For tonight, mostly clear, a little bit of fog possible around daybreak. Otherwise, tonight is dry. Going to be rather comfortable. Overnight lows about 46 to 53. We'll show you that these overnight lows are going to go down too. Keep in mind, Saturday morning, those overnight lows about 57. Very mild night come tomorrow night, but by it's Monday night into Tuesday morning, those overnight lows will fall into the low to mid 40s with even some frost possible in the mountains where those mountain overnight lows Tuesday morning could be in the 30s. Average lows at this time of year in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, temperatures virtually everywhere in the 70s as we will all enjoy more sunshine than cloud cover. And in your extended forecast, you'll notice temperatures going from 78 on Friday to 61 Sunday to 57 Monday back up to 67 on Thursday. Going to have some occasional scattered showers Saturday. Not, not, not a washout. I cannot stress that to you enough. A few lingering showers on Sunday with maybe a stray shower with a little more sunshine by what? early next week. Today we forecast 78. The actual high was 78. You act surprised. $100 in the pot, $470 raised for setter in the square.